Hey everyone, Gina here from the Embroidery Zone and I recently had a comment on the, um, the video I made on how to digitize a rope border that this person was looking to do a square border and said that on the corners the sewing would stop and I wanted to see if I could digitize um, A square border and have it flow nicely. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my Corel Draw side and I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and put a rectangle on my screen. Um, don't really know what size, let's just go like that. And then I'm going to take my reshape or my shaping tool and I have the rounded corners objects selected and take one of the control points the nodes and drag it in a little bit so that I get nice rounded corners on my rectangle so it'll be easier to sew. If I left it as a point, I'm sure those little pieces of rope would just stick right out like a point. So now let's take that over to the Wilcom workspace and I'm going to leave that selected and for my outline I'm going to use my motif run and I want to change that. Let me go to the object properties to my custom motifs, which are right here, genus motifs. And there's that rope border. And you can see how it's splayed out on the edges. So to fix that, I'm going to go to my reshape tool and manipulate these ones on the corner so that they don't so that they look a little bit better so I'm just going to try to drag those and space them so they don't open up quite as much right there and I found that sometimes I have to rotate them a little bit more as well it's really hard to see let me get rid of that but Maybe I should get rid of the stitches so you can see there. So this little circle here actually rotates this motif. So I'm just going to pull it down a little bit like that. And drag the next one. And I might rotate that a little bit as well. I know it's, it's not perfect on these corners, but I think because we're doing a square. It's a sacrifice we're going to have to make if we want to use a rope border on a square or rectangle shaped patch. So let's see. Let's see how that looks. I'll put the stitches back on. I'll put it on true view. And it's not bad. It's definitely better. Uh, so we'd have to, of course, do that on all four corners. But one thing. Um, that that person mentioned was when they did this it would stop it would go here and stop go here and stop so i'm going to run my stitch player and pause that for a second and i want to make sure i have the stops and trims checked on so i can see where it's going to stop if it's going to stop at all and it looks to me like it's going to go right through and stitch just fine so i hopefully that's the solution for you and if you want to play with this uh, uh, this custom rope border that I made I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can download this EMB file and mess around with it yourself thanks for watching I hope uh, this has helped you and if it did that you would subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more thanks a lot bye bye